Ciao my friends here from Scampia, Napoli. I was in the mood for a little adventure, so I came here to Scampia. Scampia is considered the most dangerous hood, ghetto, whatever you want to call it, in Italy or maybe also in Europe. And I said to myself, why not? Let's go and visit Scampia. I would like to invite you to join me on this journey, my friends. Let's go! background information why Scampia is considered the most dangerous ghetto hood in Italy or maybe also in Europe. The area around Scampia was ruled for many many centuries by the Gomorra. The Gomorra is the Neapolitan mafia organization which is pretty much located here in this area of Napoli and the area around Scampia faced many many challenges over the last couple of centuries and this area around here was yeah well known for drug trafficking many other crimes and um, as you can see like the people are living under the poorest conditions so that leaves the door open for many crimes so I mean we came to this place to explore this area a little bit um, I would recommend to go to Vele de Scampia it's a residential building complex around here I think like a couple of minutes walking distance and these building or these uh, residential building complexes are yeah known because the media was talking so so much about them um, and around that area the Gomorra and the mafiosis did pretty much their business so we are going to go to Vela de Scampia and see what we can expect. Let's go! So guys, the first time that I heard about Scampia was when I read the book of Roberto Savaini. It was called Gamora. So he pretty much um, talked about the situation around Scampia, how the Gamora operating around this area. As you can see, the buildings are really in an old condition so I think the poorest of the poor people are living around this area guys there you can see this triangle buildings they are called Vele de Scampia and that's the place where we go right now one two three these are the buildings I think we have to cross the street in order to get there and actually there are still people living look at this So here we are, Vele de Scampia, here already you can see guys, non siamo Gomorra. For real though, the people are still actually living here feels a little bit weird to be here, to be honest. Because I just know about these places like from the, from the books, from the media, from the internet. But now I'm real life here, so it's a weird wipe to be honest. So these buildings are actually residential buildings, so people are living actually in these kinds of apartments. So let's go up. Crazy. So here are some people living. There are some people living. And these buildings have like several floors, I think like four or five floors or so. There are some people. And it's it's a tough life to be honest. I can imagine it's like a really tough life. I don't want to get like any problems. I don't know whether it's allowed to enter 
like the buildings itself. Crazy. There are some people living. So as you can see my friends, I'm like in one of those buildings and here is the middle one and there is also another one. Here you can see the dates of, I don't know, lovers or deaths. So here is the back part of the first residential building. So I could see like in the, in the face of the people when they saw me, they know immediately if somebody belongs here or not. If you're not from here, they directly know it. So guys, I was just here in this building and now I would say let's go into the middle one. I mean, I think they're like, all of them are pretty similar to each other. But nevertheless, when we are here, let's go and test them or let's go and check them out. We are, so now we are entering the second building. Let's check it out, my friends. It's so hot today, man. There is somebody gross here. I can't even imagine that people are actually living here, guys. So gross, so dirty. There is like water coming out from somewhere. The people are definitely serious. They don't fuck around. Okay. Yes. Which one? It's okay? Okay. So, <laughs> I want to help her to bring the stuff to the floor. I think she's living like somewhere in the upper floors, but yeah, she didn't want to have my help. So here are some kitties playing some soccer. So guys, that was the second building. Now let's go to the third and last one from the Vele di Scampia. Man, look at these apartments, guys. I mean, the these buildings are at least like 80 years old or so. Incredible. So now we are entering the third one. Whoa. Das Leben ist schön. That's actually German. It's cold here. It's really cold and windy. The wind blows like through the building. Guys, look at this. Hi. Hi. Ciao. Yes. Huh? No video. No video? Okay. Okay, grazie. Are you from here? Follow me. I, I show you. Huh? Where you fall? No, no, it's okay. I was walking around. In this way. Here, no? no? no okay. No be, no be. Okay. In the other ones? It's okay then? Uh, uh, light blue? Vela, light blue? Yeah, Vela, light blue. Light the first one, two one? The first Vela. Vela? Okay. I go out here, okay? So, guys, the guy didn't allow me to film inside, so he said basically I can film like. The first and the second Vele buildings, but the third one was not allowed, or I was not allowed to film. I mean, from all the three buildings, this one looks like the most fucked up. And the guy who approached me was like some kind of drug addict or so. He wanted to show me some places where I could film, but I didn't trust him. Maybe he uh, yeah, was up to something. So, anyway, guys, I mean, Mission accomplished. We could get some footage of uh, Vele de Scampia and see how life is here right now. So guys, it's so hot today. I need a ice cold Coke right now. Ciao.
Grazie. Ciao. Let's have ice cold coke, eh? During this hot Napoli weather. All right, my friends, that was it here from Scampia. I hope that I could give you some nice impressions around Velia di Scampia and uh, about the suburbs here in Napoli. I'm going to take the underground metro now to Napoli city center. And um, yeah, I need to go to the platform.